You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is Black Hollywood Live, Fashion 411. Featuring the week's roundup of fashion news. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live, Fashion 411. <laughs> Okay, fashion fans, it's time for another dose of fashion with your host at Black Hollywood Live Fashion 411. We have a special guest in the studio today, Woo-hoo. so everyone's going to have to make her feel comfortable oh, as we talk fashion. Uh, but before we introduce our special guest, let's just go around the table and everyone can introduce themselves. Why, hello, hello. I'm your host, Erica Garcia Rojas. I am your spicy Latina, born and raised in LA. And uh, I have my own clothing line, Rally Babe Apparel. So I'm your go to girl for all things business and fashion. And Erica is given amazing all face, face today. in the studio. She's serving Ooh. it today. Well, I'm talking about makeup today. So I, have to, <laughs> I have to come in theme, all about a theme, right? <laughs> and I am your host, Courtney Stewart. I'm your resident shopaholic. Shoeaholic, buying all things like you regular girls out there. I'm giving you guys the customer's perspective. And I'm Deanna Vaughn. I was your former New York City buyer, fashion maven, and then I just had to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> so that's why I'm here to share with you all of my go to budget tips for looking great and just bring in the the runway to the real way for you guys. And I want to introduce our special guest with us today. Her name is Lena Agueros, and she is the national sales manager for yeah. RG73 Denim. Yay! Whoa, whoa. So she's going to help us talk fashion and trends and jeans. Oh, and I just want to remind you guys to be sure you download uh, Fashion 411 on iTunes. It's 100% free, and because of your downloads and, and your, your support, we are still the number one fashion podcast Amen. on iTunes, Yay. and that's all because of you. So we really appreciate that, you guys. You can also check us out on Instagram. I mean, everybody's on Instagram these of days, course. right? Yes. You can check us out on Instagram at BHL Fashion 411. So you can check just out. check out all of our pictures, and you can also check us out online. And so tell us what you think, guys. And tell us what you think. Yeah, yeah. Rate, rate us five stars, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> and rate us, and also let us know, you know, if there's anything that you'd like to hear, you know, us talk about or feature. We would love to get your input put and you know bring it to the show so it's it's because it's it's your show you're our co-host <laughs> um so first up uh for our lookbook for this week um i wanted to talk about like fashion staples like everything that you know a woman needs to have in her closet just like the basics you know just things that you can build on so before you go get a you know a fur vest. Make sure you have <laughs> oh, like, shirts, you know, know the basics. So let's let's start off with, with our fashion staples for every woman's closet. First up, a basic fitted white shirt. So I don't care if you are, you know, if you got big girls, you have little girls, because sometimes wearing a button down shirt, depending on, you know, yes. how busty you are, can be tough. tough. But um, I think a fitted shirt is a great thing to have because it's something that you can you can dress it up or you can dress it down. If you work in a corporate environment and you wear a suit, you can wear that under a suit. You can wear it with jeans. You can throw a scarf around with it. And just like I said, depending on how you're sized, tailoring. You can always buy a men's a men's shirt that's going to fit you better and then you go and get it tailored. You go get it taken in and so it really fits your body. Yeah. But I think a fitted white shirt is a must have. Do you got do ladies all of have a course. fitted white shirt? Mm-hmm. Fitted white shirt? I have at least 3 a year. Perfect. I, I get them filthy every time. <laughs> exactly. I have what I love um as like a little tip. I, it's James Pierce. Mm-hmm. It's a great shirt and what I love about it is that it's actually cotton it's like a different type of cotton material, like underneath kind of like the arms on the sides. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So it makes it more of like a casual, easier to wear kind of shirt than that crisp, crisp, crisp cotton. white. Yeah. yeah. And that's the beauty of a white shirt. Like everybody makes one. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can go to Old Navy and get one for 20 bucks or yep. you can go to Chanel and get one for $600. So it's at every price point, lots of different materials. So there's no excuse. <laughs> okay. No excuse not to have one. <laughs> no excuse. Next up, a great pair of denim jeans. Yes. Yeah. I need you to weigh in on this. <laughs> I mean, you Lita. really can't go wrong with a pair of 
nice dark denim jeans. You can wear them at night, during the day, yeah. to work, even if you have a casual job. I mean, you really can't go wrong. Now, what's your opinion on the type of silhouette and fit? Because we, we have our moments where it's the skinny jean that's in style or it's the right, wide leg right, or boot cut. Right. What's your opinion on that? I mean, I that? think you should just go with whatever you feel is, is right for you. You know, there really isn't one style out there for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think depending on your shape and your size and what you feel comfortable in is the best way to go. Agreed, agreed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So every woman needs to have just... Great fitting is key because I see a lot of women out there, just you know. Just because skinny is in, does that mean we should all wear exactly. them? Exactly. Right. <laughs> just fit is so important. And I think as women, sometimes we get really caught up with the, the number. We yeah. get caught up with a six or a two or an eight or a ten. Right. And we all have to keep in mind that one designer's six is another designer's 12s and other designers too so don't look at the number if you have to even cut the tag out cut the tag out <laughs> but it's just all about fit you know it's a mind it's just, game yeah it's a mind game totally yeah totally is and even some retailers like they do the vanity sizing like if i go into j crew like i'm a zero or a two i'm not really zero two just their stuff runs big <laughs> and i can't go to j crew cool. i actually go uh -huh. to j crew cuts i actually got oh, jeans cool. from for those for the, of you petite girls out there um the kids department in a lot of high-end stores is definitely the way, way to go. So J. Crew has cheaper too. And well, it is. That's what I'm saying. It's it's the exact same product, the exact same fabric, mm -hmm. and it's half the price. So I do that a lot with J. Crew. Um, their crew cuts, and they I buy their jeans actually, and they fit. Um, same thing. They'll go to Bloomingdale's, the kids department. It's mm -hmm. like they they'll have Ralph Lauren. They have their Aqua line and everything, and like the girls department, and it's exact same thing, ha half as much. That's so a great tip. If you're, oh, yeah, if you're lucky, I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I, I can't shop in the kids department. Like, Courtney, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I that's... think it's kind of funny sometimes. I'm there. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm okay. shopping for well, my niece. There's a lot of petite yeah. women that that do that. That's so a good tip. If you're like five three and under, like, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. Really good tip. Okay, so number three fashion staple for your closet. It's the LBD, the little black dress. Um, again, a little black dress is something that you can wear to any kind of event, party, a date, if you're going out with your girlfriends. And there's so many different versions of, of this. I mean, you can j just the what, the picture that we have up right now, it's like a V-neck style sleeveless black dress. But this is something no matter what your body type is or what your budget is, this is something that I think every woman needs to have. And at the end of the day, I think you're going to end up having more than one LBD, oh, yeah. you know? Definitely. Um, so that's another staple. Number four fashion staples for everyone's closet is a nude heel. Now, depending on what shade of nude you, of are. Nude you are, that's going to be different, you know? But I think a nude heel, uh, I think brown women, brown girls, don't be afraid to find that right nude for you, you know, um, just because there is just a, a plethora of colors. And I think we actually talked about it. It was Christian it. Louboutin yes. is introducing the wider range of a nude heel pump. Yes. And it literally was on a wheel of color. Uh -huh, of so shades. it's from the palest of pale to the brownest of brown. Exactly. So find that right nude heel it's for like you. Found, finding the right foundation. You got exactly. Exactly. Like shoe, shoe tone. Exactly. Yeah. And what's so nice about a nude heel, it's just elongates your silhouette, mm -hmm. no matter if you're wearing a pair of jeans, a skirt, a dress, it just gives you one clean line. And since it's nude, it kind of disappears. It makes your legs look so long. Yeah. That's the biggest trick is wearing nude heels and your legs will look long and skinny. <laughs> so you have to have a nude heel. Uh, next up, we have a statement necklace or just like a bold piece of jewelry. I happen to be a huge accessories freak. Like yeah. I love, you know, just what necklaces and stuff right now can do. You can just have on the most simplest of, of items, but you throw in a necklace and bam, suddenly it's it so just good. kicked up your, your look a huge notch. And again, this is something that, you know, you could do at any budget. I mean, Forever 21, they are great with like, Amazing. you yeah. know, statement jewelry. Statement jewelry. I mean, for $5.80, you can walk <laughs> away with like yeah. an amazing pair, you know, necklace or a piece of jewelry, and they're keeping up with the trends, you know, which is important. Or, you know, if you want to splurge and spend a couple hundred dollars, I'll never forget, I, one of my favorite necklaces that I have, I think I spent $300 on it, oh. but I wear that necklace so much, so my cost per wear, as yes. they say, it just makes it worth it for me, and I've totally. had it for years. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, shelling it out in the, you know, in the front end, it was just like, kind of, it was tough, but like, I just, I love jewelry. I yeah, love yeah. pieces of jewelry, and I think it just, it does so much for your closet. Yeah, I do too. Uh, next up, we have a fitted jacket or blazer. Um, this one I think is from J. Crew 
again because I just love their little boy blazers. I love their their schoolboy yeah. blazers. So cute. I, have them. I love it. Uh, but another fashion staple because this is something I don't know if you uh, if you guys take a look at Instagram or um, online, but. Uh, what we're looking at right now, we're looking at a woman in a little boy blazer, and she actually has on a white fitted shirt underneath, and she's got on camouflage pants. So a fitted blazer doesn't necessarily mean you have to look stodgy and conservative and business-like. Yeah. You know, you can totally mix it up in your closet. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it as a suit. But there's so many different ways to wear this piece. You can funk it up. You know, so it's not just for the career woman. Is is basically what I'm saying. And again, you can find it anywhere, any price point. Uh, next up, we have a wrap dress. So I don't know um, if you guys know, but uh, at LACMA here in Los Angeles, there is a special exhibit uh, mm -hmm. with Diane von Furstenberg. Furstenberg. It just launched, I want to say maybe a week or I so ago. I think it was a week ago. About a week. Yeah. At a huge yeah. party. And basically, it's an homage to Diane von Furstenberg, the queen oh, of the wrap yeah, dress. Definitely and it's just, it shows all of her dresses through the years because she's been around since the 70s. And I think a wrap dress. I don't care if you're a size two or if you're a size 22. You a wrap good. dress is just fits any woman's shape, mm -hmm. and it's gonna make you look amazing. Mm -hmm. And it travels so well. Oh, <laughs> God, so well. It I packs it. so easy, you know. Now Diane von Furstenberg is a little pricey. Hers are silk jersey, but again, this is a dress that lots of different brands make. Mm -hmm. You know, on a every single year they recycle, recycle. So wrap dress. Do you ladies all have one? Yep. Of course. Yes. And even though DVF is a little pricey, it is definitely worth the investment it is. to do at least one. If you only do one, you will wear yeah. that dress for years. Forever. And just the prints are timeless. Yes. They don't go out of style. When I used to work in my fashion days, they used to call me Diana von Furstenberg. Yes. I always because I have a ton of wrap dresses and I would always wear them to work. So. Yeah. All right, number eight on our basics list is a cashmere cardigan or sweater. So something to just, you know, throw on. And ideally it's in, in a color, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just so it breaks up the monotony of, of grays and blacks and neutrals. But it's always nice to have a nice cardigan to throw on just to pop over a tank top or, you know, a blouse or something. So that's a staple. Uh, number nine, a colorful, casual, like flat or a wedge. Um, wedges obviously huge this season and if you're a person like me who I really can't wear heels because I have completely flat feet wedges are great because they're still going to give you that length and silhouette and make you look you know sexy and feminine yet it gives you a little bit more stability you know when it comes yeah. to walking around and if a wedge isn't your thing then have like a colorful flat in your closet every woman needs that and then finally our uh, last staple for every woman's closet are layering t-shirts um, whether you know whether it's a v-neck a crew neck uh, a boat neck every woman needs you know a couple good t-shirts that you need to layer just with everything else in your closet so you can throw that t-shirt on underneath your blazer you can throw it on underneath your cardigan it's just easy to wear you can dress it up with jewelry with a scarf and it's just something that you'll always have and use in your closet and with those 10 things you can like just have a wardrobe full of stuff mm -hmm. yeah. full of stuff so there you are with fashion staples hope that gets you guys prepared for uh you know your spring wardrobe shopping what's up next erica all right so up next uh i think we're going to be talking about makeup Nope. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to be going into Style Scoop. <laughs> I got your weekly Style Scoop for you guys. So this is what's going on in the world of fashion. Um, so first up, any of you Bobble Bar fans, um, the online retailer has recently inked a deal with Anthropology, where they're going to be designing a monthly capsule collection to be sold exclusively at the retail chain. The collection will debut in 170 Anthropology stores under the Bobble Bar Anthropology name. So, yeah, that's yeah. a good plan for anthropology. It yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, I love anthropology. They always have like something interesting, like jewelry and I, stuff like that. Anthropology is one of those stores that I love going to uh -huh. and visiting. Uh -huh. But I don't buy anything because uh -huh. it's, to me, in my opinion, for what it is. It's Kind of overpriced. overpriced. Oh, it is. Yeah. Totally that's agree. a sale-only mm -hmm. place. That's yeah. it. You go, you watch, you watch <laughs> yeah. for yeah. the price to go down. Yes. Yeah. 
but I completely agree. Uh -huh. I literally like go around the corner. Me I was too. just in there uh -huh. yesterday yeah. and went yeah. around the corner to the sale the area. Room in the yeah. back. Yeah. 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 And yeah. now that I'll pick up a candle. So. And anthropology. Well, maybe it always we'll, smells really good. It does. In there. I love it. Well, not, maybe now we can get bubble bar jewelry. So, okay. Well, up next, uh, Mark Jacobs is opening a gimmicky pop up shop in Soho called the Daisy Tweet Shop. Ooh. So, um, this is kind of interesting. So, customers will pay for Mark Jacobs products through social media by posting on Instagram. Facebook or Twitter. The shop will be open from February 7th to the 9th and will be full of goodies for shoppers like food, drinks, a photo booth, and a lounge. Ooh, so you go to the store, wow. no money, no money no exchange. Just social media. You oh, got to tweet. Cool. Yeah. So, that's wow. interesting. It yeah. is. Yeah. Mm, he's so if any of you guys are in Soho, go check it out. We're not, but Let maybe they'll bring one here in LA. Goes. I wonder <laughs> how they're like what the like how will they putting value on what like is it because right. I tweeted it to 8 million followers yeah or? do you pay less than someone yeah. else who you I know, would think so I would, I would think like to see what the breakdown is yeah. yeah well I will report back to you let me know um, that's after interesting it's I'll let you guys know I'll, I'll do some research Twitter studies <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> Um, all right, so American Eagle's new airy ads for spring are the latest to promote natural beauty and no retouching. The campaign, photographed by John Urbano, features unretouched models posing in lingerie. Um, the girl, and it says on the ads, the girl in this photo has not been retouched. The real you is sexy. Airy Sheaf merchandising Aww. officer Jennifer Foyle says the campaign is to show women how gorgeous they are naturally. She says, quote, the purpose of Airy Real is to communicate there is no need to retouch beauty and to give young women of all shapes and sizes the chance to discover amazing styles that work best for them. We want to help empower young women to be confident in themselves and their bodies. And so for those of you who are listening, definitely follow us on Instagram at BHL Fashion 411. I have a picture here of one of the ads um, of the beautiful girl that they have um, in the photos and she is not retouched. You do see like a little bit, if you look, you can see a little bit of her cellulite, stretch marks and all that, which I think it's great. Yeah, especially considering American Eagle like caters to a younger demographic. Mm -hmm. exactly. So I think that's really nice that younger people can be okay with their bodies. Mm -hmm. So that that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great message. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I think it's awesome. So I hope I hope more retailers take note and do something similar. Even in, like when you look at the Victoria's Secret catalog and those girls are perfection, they're still retouched. So, you yeah. can look at in a catalog where like their thigh has been slivered off. off. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And then you're just like, come on. And then you look at this and it's yeah. just it's gorgeous just and yeah. just yeah. sexy it's nice and it's all yeah. nice and non-retouched. Yeah. So. All right, up next, according to Page Six, Academy Award nominee Jennifer Lawrence is in talks with Dior to extend her partnership with the brand for 15 to $20 million. Ooh, think, about think about that. that. Yeah. Someone is paying you 15, 15 to $20 million to wear their clothes. Wow. <laughs> like, that's insane. She's I would take it. I would take She's... a lot less than that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I would just do it for the clothes. Like, <laughs> yeah, for the clothes. You want to give me $1,000 in a dress? Okay. I know. She is gorgeous so yeah. and if any of you guys watched mm -hmm. the movie um american hustle mm -hmm. did you guys yeah. see that yes, I I did. Oh, you, okay for oh, those of, of you who love fashion just watch that movie for the fashion alone amy, amy adams, adams is phenomenally oh dressed God. i still don't know who did costumes on that and i've been meaning to look that up yes. because every single outfit she had it was on perfection. was perfection perfect perfection. like 70s glam like it just yeah. it was flawless. just fabulous yeah. what's funny though is that my my parents had seen the movie too my dad's like People did not dress like that. <laughs> He's like, she looks great, but people did not walk That's around not real. with like the, the yes, low V. Yes, the low V. Like was, every scene. I just low. kept saying like her boobs are in amazing shape yes. right now for having because she has a daughter and yeah. I they look fabulous. The hair, <laughs> the, I want her entire wardrobe. Everything. And Jennifer Lawrence, she looked amazing also. Yeah. Like they both looked amazing. So, but anyways. Um, check that out, guys. Yeah, yeah check it out. <laughs> All right. Um, last but not least, in our oh no no, we got a couple more in style scoop. Uh, this is um, about a new Russian online magazine, Bureau Two Four Seven, recently published an article on Russian socialite and editor in chief of Garage Magazine, Dashka Zhukova, that has garnered a lot of negative attention. How come? Well, the image, and if you guys are following us on 
Instagram, you can see it. The image in the article portrays Ms. Savoka sitting on a chair made to look like a black woman in bondage. The woman as a chair is nude except for panties, a garter belt, gloves, and boots. This portrayal of a black woman as an object, or in this case, a chair, caused quite the stir, naturally. Uh, the online magazine eventually uh, apologized for the image, and they said, quote, Bureau 24-7 team and I personally would like to express our sincerest apology to anyone who was offended and hurt, said Miroslava Duma, uh, the editor-in-chief of the magazine. The chair in the photo should only be seen as a piece of art, which was created by British pop artist Alan Jones and not as any form of racial discrimination. In our eyes, everyone is equal and we love everybody. Uh, the socialite pictured sitting on the human chair came out as well with her own apology, saying, quote, I regret allowing an artwork with such charged meaning to be used in this context. I utterly abhor racism and would like to apologize to those offended by my participation in this shoot. Ooh, oh, what do you guys think heavy. of this? I just, you know, just hearing the apologies that mm -hmm. you just read from, from everybody, it's just, do people just stop and think before they do things like this? Like, at any point in time, because I'm sure there was a set, and there was a stylist, and there was lighting, right. and there was cameras. And like, she actually had to sit on yeah, that chair. Yeah, like, did like, anybody, like, the, did the photographer looking through the lens say, mm, maybe we need to think about this? Yeah, there was I, you know, That's just, why I don't, like, the apologies bother me because yeah. these are not unintelligent, uninformed people. Yeah. And I feel like there's no possible way that you could have been doing this and creating this yeah. and it never crossed your mind yeah. what you right. also were communicating. Right. Where, I, I mean, I don't know what they thought they were communicating. I mean, but it's a full developed concept. Like, it's yeah. fully, it's developed. fully developed. Yeah, yeah. so, and I, I don't, I'm not comfortable with, right. I don't, and that's why I don't buy the you apologies. You don't buy the apologies. Yeah. Right. I don't either. I mean, if it's I just, were, even, it, say I wasn't, you know, in the magazine. Say I was at that woman sitting on the chair. I cannot imagine myself sitting on that chair and being photographed doing that. Like, if it yeah. were me and this concept was presented to me, oh, we have this whole concept, it's so modern, da-da-da, and it's reminiscent of this, you know, art pop person, I'd be like, I'm not sitting on that chair. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Like, did I, like, the woman that's sitting on the chair, in some ways, I actually blame her a lot. Not blame her, but I think she's... Her apology to me yeah. seems the least sincere. Yeah. Because a magazine thinks to get all of a sudden spiraled and it gets into this and everyone's in like, oh, it's awesome or whatever. But like to, to you being the one to in that image sitting on the chair, it would take... Just, I, I don't know. I could not. It's just not enough that. hindsight. It just doesn't make sense to me. You know yeah. what I mean? Just no. to hear, yeah, the, the apology isn't sincere. No. No. You're apologizing because you got caught no. and, and they got called out. Let's be real. But it's just, it's baffling to me that... And keep in mind, this is a Russian magazine. So we've talked about this too. Yeah. Racism yeah. Is, is different. It means something different. In yeah. other countries. Um, and maybe, you know... Things like that fly more out in Russia. I don't know. But I mean, so it definitely doesn't fly here. Because in the end, like even if it wasn't necessarily, they looked at it and they were like, okay, I can't deal with the racial charge of it like that. There was still an obvious attempt to be extra, like to be salacious. Yeah. And they knew that it would mean something having this black woman in bondage underneath exactly. this woman. Right. Whether or not it meant the exact same thing as it means in America yeah. that it does in Russia, I mean, there's a they, it was still yeah. them trying to... And, the and take away racism right. from this. This is this is a woman that you're sitting on too. Like, yeah. talk about that as that well. That alone should have yeah, been enough. That it's alone. a naked woman. Any woman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Race, whatever. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible. So, mm. anyways. Sure. Alright, so, last but not least, we talked a little bit about these guys earlier, but uh, for those of you J. So Crew fans, <laughs> <laughs> J. Crew fans, CEO Mickey Drexler just announced that the pricey retailer will lower their prices to Woo! accommodate customers. <laughs> he says, "Quote: You'll see our prices much more friendly this year." He told Women's World Daily, "We can't compete with designers. I grew up in the Bronx. I resent the masses thing. I find the world isn't that high integrity. Maybe I grew up not being able to afford nice things, but it shouldn't be that way. I wanted nice clothes that aren't crazy." price it's well refreshing. it's it's refreshing at the same time it's it's I think more of a response and as a retailer you can yeah. speak to this it's more of a response you know uh, let's see here Lowman's just closed yes. Sears is closing JC JC Penney is closing locations I mean I think last year wasn't a great retail year for a no lot of money yeah. no mm -hmm. one's making money That's the problem nobody's making money so he's not doing this so oh we want everybody to buy, to buy our buy. clothes they're doing this because they're not making money yeah, and they need to restructure and change their strategy because right. people just can't afford to go and spend five hundred dollars on a cashmere sweater right. you mm -hmm. know or three hundred dollars on an embellished t-shirt it's just ridiculous you know yeah. and 
I agree. Right. Like when it comes to retailers, when it comes to the world of fashion and the business fashion, it's all about money. Money talks, and and they probably. I mean, yeah. Even the big are guys low. aren't, you know, doing doing too well. You see them in Target, and yeah. you see them in H and M, you know. <laughs> And yeah. not by choice. That's for sure. <laughs> exactly. And I'm mixed because I think, granted, I can't, I don't go shopping at Drake Crew all the time. But every mm -hmm. now and then, it's nice to get, you know, a really good quality Basic, product because that's yeah. the thing. They do have wonderful fit and wonderful quality. Mm -hmm. I am assuming with this, the quality is definitely going to be changing. Yeah. And so this is true too. And that's, yeah, that bothers me because it's not going to be the same quality. I can 150 million percent guarantee you it's not going to be the same So they're going to try to keep maintain their profit yeah, margin as the to. same and they're going to and they'll have to cut some bad. corners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's Just likely like to... Just like Lululemon. Oh, oh yes. that's right. And now they moved all their manufacturing overseas, I believe. That's what yeah. happened to them. And, and they've had complaints about stuff already, no. and they're like, no, they're the same, and they're great. Yeah, you yeah know, right. It's not. What I think is going to happen here is, you know, like a lot of retailers like J. Crew and The Gap, they all have outlet stores. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but mm -hmm. the outlet stores have a different manufacturer. Factory. It's called yep. M MFO. That's what mm -hmm. the, we call it, right. like, in the business. So it's called Made for Outlet, and they use different materials, mm -hmm. you know, lesser quality so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that made for outlet stuff is coming yeah. is going to be coming into the stores you know it's going to be mixed up a little bit technically though I know I know with some of these retailers they're actually all in the same they're actually in the same factory and mm -hmm. a lot of them some of them actually use a lot of the same fabrics and it's just a little tweak here and there yeah it changes so things. it just it depends on the brand sometimes you can get yeah. some good stuff at the retail and sometimes it's just crap mm -hmm. so I agree, though. I think they're just gonna bring in their, which, in my opinion, the J. Crew outlet stuff is. Oh not yeah, I mean, all. a lot of the outlet stuff, like I said, like it's specifically made for the outlet. Yeah. It doesn't come from the store and get right. there. It's completely, no. it's merchandised differently. It's, it's yeah, completely it's different. Good. So, well, so. they say molds tell. are going out of style anyway, so we'll be ordering it all online. <laughs> so oh, that's too bad. Well, speaking of money and saving money, we've got our beauty segment this week that I'm covering, and I am a huge, even though my business is fashion I am a huge makeup lover I love makeup I'm not a makeup artist but I just love 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 makeup and I know a lot about it too much so <laughs> I, should be, I should be somehow making money from it but anyway so I'm bringing to you guys this week ways that you can save money on makeup and these are some ways I don't want to just recycle things that you see in Cosmo magazine or in all the magazines these are things that you might not have heard of before um, first of all obviously everyone knows this the drugstore has awesome makeup products um, a lot of them are owned by the same companies and mother companies as the high-end department stores L'Oreal is owned by Lancome um, I believe like Revlon they're all owned by the same um, I think Estee Lauder companies so a lot of them are actually the same exact product just packaged differently so definitely check out the drugstore a couple of my favorite brands that are not so um, maybe well known um, one is a brand called Jordana that's available actually in here in LA I know it's available at Walgreens I don't know on the East Coast or in the Midwest um, you can find lip liners there let me tell you they're like two dollars two or three dollars and they even go on sale sometimes for like a dollar <laughs> amazing they're the only lip liners I have they're retractable lip liners and oh, wow. I swear to God they have the exact same quality as the Mac lip liners they're even like the really nice Tart or Too Faced lip liners that are retractable. Mm -hmm. They come in so many different colors. I'm talking about the lip liners, not the eyeliners. I don't think the eyeliners are the same quality. But definitely check out Jordana lip liners. They're like two to three dollars a pop. They are amazing. Like CVS, Walgreens, Walgreens, Walgreens. for sure. Okay. I've not been able to find them at CVS okay. um, and or anywhere else, but. Walgreens, for sure, you can find them. And for those I'm of you who are watching, look like, up Jordana. Their lip liners are the bomb diggity. All right. Um, the other is another brand called Prestige. Oh, yeah. Prestige makes really, really good, like mm -hmm. creamy eyeliners. Um, you can find those um, at a lot of different. You can find them, I think, at Ulta. Ulta. You can find them um, at different drugstores. But Prestige has awesome eyeliners. They're like four or five dollars a piece. They go on sale too. Um, those are a great, great eyeliner. Um, at the drugstore. Another brand of makeup at the drugstore, but specifically we're talking eyeshadows, are Wet n Wild. Really? Oh my god, Wet n Wild. Huh. 
if you try their um, a little eyeshadow trio, the packaging is crap. There's nothing good about the packaging, <laughs> but the eyeshadows themselves are so good. They're, they're the same quality that you'll see at like Urban Decay or MAC. If you test them and you swatch them out, they are some of the best eyeshadows. Not just are at they the highly drugstore, pigmented? They're so buttery. They're so pigmented. You only need to swipe you know it once on your eye eyeshadow. For those of you listening, go to drugstore, try them out. And tell me, tweet me, let me know. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, yeah. try it. Because yeah. I wanna. How is the wear like in terms of lasting for lasting, the day? Lasting, they last just as long, if not longer, than other eyeshadows. I swear to God, they're better than a lot of the high end expensive, and they're like wow. three dollars or four dollars for a little um, set. Because I think I the test of a good eyeshadow, it's like, especially for like if, if you're any person of color, is mm -hmm. like the pigment. pigment. And yes. it doesn't go ashy. The exactly. And it doesn't go ashy. So like what you see in the container and what you see in your it's skin are two, two different totally things. Different That's different. Yes. the, you know, Try the hard my part. wild, ladies. Okay. Try it out. They're awesome. Um, the other, a couple other thing is... Um, for those of you, I think on the East Coast it has a different, I think it's Harmon, but here on the West Coast, Bed Bath & Beyond a few years ago started selling uh, cosmetics and drugstore type products. Their prices are the cheapest out of any drugstore, out of Target, out of anything. Mm -hmm. The only thing that might compete with them is Walmart, but Bed Bath & Beyond has better brands. And you can use your 20% off coupons. Off coupons. Oh, those coupons. <laughs> that yeah. you get every day in the mail. Yeah, oh, or the $15, $5 off $15. Off. Yeah. And so they're pricing. So if you compare, say, like a, a Maybelline lipstick for um, at CVS, it could be like $8. At at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, it's probably four or five dollars, and it's significantly cheaper. And you use your coupon, and bam, you're saving a lot of money. Nice. So go to Bed Bath and Beyond to buy your cosmetics, buy your skincare, use your coupons. Um, that's a couple of ways to save money. A couple other things um, that are a little not you know on the radar is there's a website out there, and I am no way affiliated with this website. I don't even know the person who owns it. I know nothing. But I discovered Disclaimer. it, and I'm like, oh. It's a website that sells samples of MAC products. I was like, what? They Hold sell on. like little tubes of lipstick. They sell little like their um, their uh, pigments. They sell little like things. They're like sample. They're not the full size, but they're like samples of them. And a lot of times, those of you know, the, the MAC pigments, I mean, those are amazing. That yeah. is some money that's well worth spent is those MAC pigments. They last forever, but that's the thing. They last forever, and you will never use that entire uh -huh. bo that bottle. So they sell these little, like, sample type things for, like, 3 or $4. And the lipsticks, if you want to try MAC lipsticks, they sell samples of MAC lipsticks. And it's the real MAC product. It's the real MAC product. Uh -huh. I bought them, and I buy them. And now and she, they have, like, sales What's and all the that. What's the website? website? <laughs> it's called mybodyneeds.com. It's the weirdest <laughs> name for it. My Body Needs. M-Y-B-O-D-Y-N-E-E-D-S dot com. Google it, look it up. It I'm telling you, <laughs> I have bought so many from like MAC pigments, especially the pigments, wow. and they last you forever. Um, the other website that's really, really awesome is called um, beautypedia.com. I don't know if I've any of you guys that. have heard of it. Mm -hmm. So it's affiliated with a line of skincare called um, uh, Paula's Choice, which is actually an excellent line of skincare. I use their skincare. It's really good. And they're really well-priced and well-formulated products. But the website is actually an entire website of, of of ratings of products and it, ratings of products from you know the drugstore all the way up to the high-end Christian Dior, NARS, all that stuff. And what's great about it, and what's a great way to save money, is you can go through and filter and do a search for you know like the best, say, moisturizers with a sunscreen, and they'll list the best ones. And you could go to the drugstore and pull it up. There's an app actually too, and pull it up, and you pull up like, oh, wow, this Neutrogena one is great, or you know, oh, well, you know what, this one that is a cheap one and it's cheap for a reason it sucks or this one you know at Clinique is awesome but the same you know one that might be of a different formula is not so good so it's an awesome website it's an app same thing I'm not affiliated with these guys I just okay. think it's an awesome website and I love the app news alert I just it's actually the body needs but I'm on here yep. right now oh my god <laughs> yes. it's they I have all you. these different samples three dollars and seventy nine cents and you've ordered from them oh yeah okay. and so it's like a real website I've ordered from them I it, they, it gets sent and it's to not me. used no it's like it's used. No. <laughs> like in the package no. No. how are they doing it's this not. yeah and it's like in a little I like think maybe mini the version woman might work for Mac I don't know. 
Uh, but I think it's an awesome <laughs> website. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So it's an awesome. I would go check it out. But yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg of some of the stuff I know about makeup. You guys, I know a lot Ooh. about makeup. So <laughs> hope that more. helps you guys. Oh, they've money. got eyeshadows too. Yep. <laughs> We're like, they've got, got glitter samples. Oh, Erica. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be all over that. There's more where that came from. Well, we'll talk more makeup oh, um, the God. upcoming weeks. So. so I think it's time to get to know our guest sitting here. Yes. yes. So tell us all about yourself, Miss Lena? Well, I was born and raised in Missouri. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I wow. know. A lot of Say people Louis, like, girl. Really? <laughs> um, out of high school, I went to college for a year, stayed at home, and then I moved to New York City. I know you know a little bit about New yeah. York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. a little. And then I came here to be with my sister, graduated from FITM, and now I'm working at a denim company, RG73 Jeans. Nice. And yeah. We just launched at the beginning of the year. And everything's going really great. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So I know being in the industry, like you can, you see what's coming out, you know, six Far months a advance. year from yeah. now. I know yeah. when I, um, we had a sales rep for my line, Rally mm -hmm. Babe. We had, there's also a jeans company as well. And yeah, I remember yeah. over a year and a half ago, those coated denim jeans coming out and thinking, what the hell are those? And now <laughs> right. everyone's wearing right. them. Right. So I want to know from you, what are you seeing like, <laughs> Coming. Coming. Coming, coming, coming. Well, specifically what we do is denim. And so trend-wise, I would say the bell bottoms are coming back. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not something yeah. for a smaller petite girl, but I know that <laughs> if you need that help with the long legs and everything like that, it's, it's flawless. It's a look that is timeless, in my opinion, and it's something that's going to come back full force. Along with the prints, and you know, you've seen on their runways, those beautiful like tops and skirts that are just full printed outfits. And I think that paired with a pair of nice jeans, it's something that, you know, it's gonna happen. Have we seen yeah. the end of high-waisted jeans? Please no. say yes. We no. haven't. Oh, I love them. No. We haven't. Really? I love them. I don't I think don't. so, yeah. <laughs> I think you need to find the right pair for you then. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think I yeah. might have a pair for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see <laughs> So, like, what's the funnest part of your job? I mean, oh my you goodness. work in clothing and yeah. dinner. Like, that's Everything's a girl's dream. Everything's fun. So, we are, we're located downtown in Los Angeles in the fashion district, the heart of everything. And so, some of the fun things that I get to do is pick fabrics and really just brainstorm and come up with, like, new ideas and, you know, see what's trending and then forecast for the rest of the week or, or anything. Sometimes I just take a break out on the streets and take pictures of people and see what everyone's wearing and what consumers are buying and... That's a big part of my job, definitely. What are the trends when it comes to the actual <laughs> fabric of denim itself? What do you see? Honestly, I think the thicker denim is going to be coming back. I've, I'm over the stretch. I think mm. for a girl like my size, I'm a 27, and I'm pretty standard size 27, but I need some help. And I think when I put on a pair of jeans, I'd rather have something squeeze me in and feel like I'm wearing a pair of denim jeans than something elastic -y that I don't feel you know, super confident in. Like a pair of Spanx that like might send you to the hospital. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wear Spanx, ladies. Yeah. Uh, all right, what would you say is the sort of worst decision people are making when they choose their jeans? I think the fit. I think, honestly, girls, you need to pay attention to that fit. Because you can look no matter what size you are, I am so confident, no matter what budget you have, there's a fit out there and there's a look for everyone. And you can, if you can know what your body needs and where you need to place everything, I think <laughs> that's definitely something everyone needs to start paying a little bit more attention to is that waist and the hips and the legs and the, you know. And that's how spandex has become like, oh, yeah. because, you know, people get a false sense of what fits because it stretches and they can get it on. And okay, well, I can get it on, but just because you can get it on doesn't it's, mean it fits. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> so it's definitely something to pay attention to, I think, more. Mm. Just because it's trendy doesn't necessarily mean that it's for you. What constitute? Oh, Go ahead. What constitutes like a good fit? Like if you're trying on a million mm. jeans and you're there and you're like, Ugh, like. I think first you need to look at your waist, girls. If you have a larger backside, you really need that gap between, you know, the jean and if you're, especially if you're going high waisted, it's got to fit at your waist. You don't want to have anything falling over, you know, little muffin top situation. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> um, 
and then start you know going down from there like does it fit in your hips is it pulling you the right direction what does it look like really be honest with yourself when you look in the mirror and see what you're seeing you know don't lie to yourself and say maybe if I wore a longer top this would work be confident oh. when you make that purchase <laughs> and I think, too, as women, like, because with men, when they buy clothes, men are used to buying a suit or whatever and going and getting it tailored. Whereas women, I think we expect to pick up something off the rack and, oh, my God, if it doesn't fit exactly, something's you know, wrong something's me. wrong yeah. with my body. Right. And I think don't be afraid to get something maybe a size bigger and take it to a tailor and Definitely. just have it made for yeah. you, oh, yeah. you know, so it fits you better. But I think as women, we need to learn that concept. Right. I think it's definitely yeah. been lost. I mean, definitely use your tailor. There's one on every street corner. You yep. probably drive by one every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, take them into the tailor, buy them a little bit bigger and, and have them fit them the Do way you, you like it. Favorite tailors in the LA area? Yeah, I, I could yeah. use For you denim, know, like, it's a little it's so bit, hard. it's yeah. hard to find. Yeah, like, I do. You know, downtown, there's a really great spot on South Los Angeles and 9th Street that I go to all the time. I can't remember the name of it, but it's just a little, little hole in the wall place, but they're just great. And, you know, it, it only takes a couple bucks. It's, yeah. a, it's an investment. If you're going to spend 150 to $300 on a pair of jeans or even $50 on a pair of jeans, spend that extra $10, $15 and get it, get it right. And like Deanna, your whole thing at the beginning, like mm -hmm. the essentials for wardrobe, yeah. I think the essentials is also a good tailor. Like yeah. to have yeah. a good tailor, you know, of all shapes and sizes, you mm -hmm. know, and to be able to get something and you could get something inexpensive, but if you have it tailored to you, exactly. it just looks yeah. like it just makes perfect. all the right. difference. And I just I'm I think people that. shouldn't be afraid, even if you've spent like Forty dollars on a top, or if you spent like two hundred, like don't right. be afraid to spend. Just like right. you said, make it right. ten bucks, make it right, and then it just it fits you just perfectly. Yeah, you mm -hmm. feel better about it. Yeah, yeah you do. Uh -huh. Yeah, because sure. you feel like, like I really like, have it's something for good me. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like customized. Yeah. yeah, yes, 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 yes. And I think the more we do that, well, as women, we'll realize it's not my body. You know, right. it's 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 clothing. It's manufacturers. It's, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, not mm -hmm. every. You know, not everyone's a specific size, and so there's, you know, you, you see that more with, like, your shoe size, you know. Sometimes you just can't buy that specific shoe mm -hmm. yeah. because it just doesn't work for you. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, with, with clothes, too, sometimes it's just not going to work for you, but we have that glory of taking it to the tailor and really Make getting it, it to where you want it. We have to do that more. Make it work. Yeah. Yeah. Make it work. It's because we got, be this society came very casual with yeah. wearing clothing, and so that's why women are kind of just like, oh, it's supposed to be able to get a t-shirt yeah. and some pants and put them on and go. And mm -hmm. I like the idea of going back to a little bit a little bit more formal. Mm -hmm. We pay attention in classic to yeah. yeah, or like yeah. have less less clothing, but yeah, have more, better more quality, tailored, tailored, tailored quality, right, yeah, right. Exactly. exactly. But it's just so easy to want to just go and buy everything though. Like, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I always say that. It's like, oh, I need less, you know. I just yeah. need less and want to get a nicer piece. But then like, right. ah, there's this sale going on at H and Exactly. Oh, no. That was right, me trying to right, clean right. out my closet right. last week. Like, yeah. oh, but I've worn this stuff, yeah. and I don't like. Yeah, but there's no room for anything else. Right. And, I know. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's also part of our culture. It's the fast fashion. It's consumerism. 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 Yep. consumerism. Yep. Conspicuous yeah. consumption. I mean, for those of us in the business, so it's a good thing because you got to keep on bringing out yeah, more clothes. Right. You got to keep on getting people to Giving something yeah, to else for them to look at. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. And I have one final question for you. Yeah. So how much does, you know, nowadays we've got all the different gossip magazines and we're looking at the red carpets and what celebrities are wearing. Does that right. play into your forecasting at all? Yeah, it does. It mm -hmm. does um, in a sense of that's what dictates our mark, you know, that's what dictates what everyone's wearing, essentially. I mean, this is what media has done to the world, and you, this is, you know, it's a great thing in a sense of we have all of that to our disposure, but also, you know, yeah, celebrity media buzz, it's, it's what it's all about, mm -hmm. you know? It's all what right. the stores want in their stores. They want to know that celebrities are wearing these clothes because that's what people want to buy. Well, that is a perfect segue. Perfect yeah. segue yeah. for you, celebrity. <laughs> celebrity, celebrity. All right. So we're going to zoom into hot mess right now, hot or hot mess. Obviously, the Grammys happened this past weekend. So we're going to take a look at a lot of different looks that were on the Grammys on the red carpet at parties. We're going to start out with the party scene. And first up, we have Miss Rihanna who was at the Clive Davis pre-Grammy party rocking this canary yellow just just drama Alexander Voltier <laughs> couture dress that I I mean I personally love the dress I thought it was like hecka hecka long like <laughs> that picture just has her leg out and she's sort of sexing walking and doing it but uh she she she's all glamour all the time however she decides to do it in that dress what do you guys think 
I love the color. I think it's sexy. Is she a little overdressed? Uh, she's a clown dance party. But she's real. She's running right at the Grammys. Like, <laughs> there's a moment a for party, her to yeah. go and be all out. Now is it. Yeah. So we would not expect anything less of her. I feel like this is her Jennifer Lopez moment. Mm -hmm. You know, remember yes. from back in the day. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's it's sexy. It's The, the color's great. You know, she's very provocative, you know. Yeah. I was not a fan of the greased down side no. spiked hair. I can't, I can't really you can't make tell in that picture, hair, but it was right. sort of the whole where she had shaved off the side initially. Like yeah. now it's sort of like greased down and like smoothed over, and then it was like. Yeah, I thought we were over that. Look. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of done with that. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. At least yeah. she didn't bring out the mullet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's that very true. That was pretty bad. Yeah. I like her with the short pixie right now. I wish she I would kind of hang yeah. out in that for a while. I her. love her. Actually, my favorite with her is. Is the red hair. I you love like her with the red, the red, red hair. Too. I it's love fierce. her with the red yeah. hair. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Next up, we have Miss Solange Knowles, who was at Troy Carter's pre Grammy party, and she was wearing Azade Jean Pierre two piece black and white bug print uh, outfit. It was a skirt and top, and she had this A shaped hairstyle that she was rocking and some strappy sandals. Deanna's face is like, ew. <laughs> no, I actually, I, I was reading a lot of the blogs over the week, and, and I saw a lot of commentary about her roach outfit yes. and her hair, and she got trashed for this outfit. She did. Left and right. Yeah, she, she did. She got trashed. Yeah. As yeah. she should. Yeah. It's a weird You outfit. think so? Do you, what do you think, Lena? You know? Honestly. Uh, honestly, I don't hate it, to be completely honest. Yeah, um, you know better. I think the general silhouette is pretty. Mm -hmm. um, people are scared of bugs. People don't, you yeah. know, it's not cute. Nobody wants to. I don't want bugs Especially on me. Especially roaches, because yeah. that's what they look like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like big roaches. But I think the skirt's cute, and the way it fits her, she, she looks great. I think. What I just like the most actually is her hair. Yeah, I don't like the hair. I don't that's, like the hair. It's I a mean, bad way. And and the dress, hair, like, makeup. If she accessorized, maybe and yeah. made it a little bit different. Maybe the shoes. Or a little even, like, I don't know. sexier. But her hair is so like like a little right. girl's kind of haircut, and it's. She would have made it kind of sexier like, than taking maybe. It, taking it a little further mm -hmm. because it is it is pretty crazy. I agree with you. I like the silhouette. Like, I like the look of the two pieces. Yeah. I'm not 100% on the print. Yeah. But I would have liked to have seen maybe, like, instead of a black strappy sandal, maybe she popped a something color in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if she really funny. ran with it, yeah. Yeah. made yeah. her hair funky and, like, yeah. really took it to that next level, I think that... It wouldn't have been such a fail. Mm -hmm. She, she needs to fail. retire that wig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Next up, also at the Clive Davis pre Grammy party, was Miss Jennifer Hudson, where she was also talking smack later I know, on about Beyonce. About Beyonce. <laughs> but anyway, in this look, she was wearing uh, a Christopher Kane mini dress with uh, multicolored uh, strap, elastic band straps all over it. So it was different. Okay, her. I like it when Jen. I love it when she does like the real va va voom long dresses with her new figure. I feel like this is just kind of like mm, okay. She got went to the mall. Yeah. She went to BB. Yeah. She it's got like one of their dresses. It does. I agree. On sale mm, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just feel like for with whatever reason, Jennifer Hudson, she just always looks older than her age. Yeah. Right. She does. Because she's she's young. She's in her twenties. I mean, no, I know she's, she's thirty two. She, she's just thirty two. Okay, she's still young. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I just feel like she looks like she's in her fifties here. Whoa! It, 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 really? like, yeah. It's yeah. more matronly that I dress, just, definitely. I just, in general, no, when I see... It's, 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 it's the very, neckline. Yeah. That's the neckline, yeah. I yeah. think. I just yeah, feel sure. like she just looks older than yeah. what she is, yeah. is my point. I honestly feel like she's trying too hard. Like, I feel like she's like, ooh, it's tight, and it's a mini dress, and it's got bands. I'm going to do this and yeah. have my short hair. And like, and she thought it was trying to be, like, super sexy and showing off her body, yeah. and it just not. doesn't. I just don't yeah. buy it. So that's she looks why really basic. It. Yeah, Sorry. very basic. <laughs> ooh, basic. She looks like a gutter chick. Okay, well. <laughs> all right, Jennifer Hudson, you didn't quite make it. So let's move on to the actual Grammy ceremony red carpet. We have, mm. first up, we have the hot couples on the carpet. First, we had Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose. Wiz was wearing a uh, uh, Saint Laurent suit and we had Miss Amber Rose and she was rocking Naeem Khan this gold um, very like uh, body mm, conscious that. shaped she looked detailing. gorgeous she yeah. looked beautiful. amazing and she covered and she covered, tattoos. covered all of her yeah. tattoos up which I thought was remarkably she wonderful looks gorgeous yeah. beautiful, right. beautiful. Really beautiful we're giving Gorge. them all a hot up in here mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. well no 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 <laughs> Miss Patton well no, no no we're just talking about oh, Wiz sorry. and Amber sorry. right now sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wiz and Amber get a uni unanimous yes. hot yes yes okay She's then gorgeous. we had Robin Thicke with his beautiful wife Paula Patton who never Paula Patton I think maybe it's 
something that she just doesn't ever get she it don't right. Get she it. never she gets don't get it right. It. Ever. Ever. This was like a zebra ever. print uh, Nicholas uh. Gibran gown, like with lions eating each other's faces at her neckline oh, and a no. weird hairstyle. No. <laughs> and she's so that? pretty. She's, like, no, yeah, no. she's got a so great figure. Beautiful. She's pretty. Like, yeah. just golden globe. She got it wrong with that. Like, that she got white, attacked white, by, white, you know, fluffer, the ruffle. ruffle. Yeah. And yes. I think her makeup is horrible, actually, because she's been looking very pale, like, yeah. and like washed out. Like, it just isn't. The makeup isn't good. The dress is I wonder weird. if she does it on purpose. Because everyone talks so we'll talk about, about it. it. Otherwise, no. And she no does have a really her. sense of humor. Like she's like a cool chick. Like somebody yeah. I feel like I would want to hang out with. So I would wonder if she is doing. Especially it that purpose. white dress. Yeah. Like the white dress at the Golden Globes. Like for sure, she wore that so people would talk. Yeah. yeah. You don't wear a thing going out of this big so everyone can like ignore you. You you, you right. know you're gonna cause a stir whether it's good or bad. I think it's because everybody's talking about her husband. They're right. not talking about her. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, so she's where's my spotlight? Yeah. But yeah. I just, I can't imagine that a stylist pick this and oh, th no, wear this. Like, right. I just can't imagine. Right. I just, thought it was cute. Maybe she doesn't have one. I'd like and to see her neckline. neckline. Exactly. The neckline was terrible. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was very major. It looked like an older lady's dress yeah. that it, somebody yeah. should it be It looked like Versace threw up all over her. And like those two lions that you see, like, oh my gosh, Yeah. Well, obviously, that is not, not hot yeah. for Miss Paula and Robin. Next up, we had John Legend and his beautiful wife, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy was rocking this gold theme that a lot of people wore on the red carpet. And she was uh, wearing uh, Joanna Johnson. Sorry, my notes are on top of each other right now. And uh, John Legend was in Gucci. She, I love she, that. She looks so much better, yeah. She couldn't have And that's so better. reminiscent of that American Hustle movie. Yeah. Totally. Yes. That look, it's... Gorgeous. Her yeah. figure is Her figure is perfect. I, I take issue with the hair, but that's just me because it didn't, it just looked like a bad swoop and some late yeah. curls and I don't know. I <sighr> thought she could have done it a that. little bit more or something. But more yeah. wavy, like wave. Wave or on yeah. purpose. Like it kind of mm -hmm. just looked messy, but not messy on purpose to right. me. But well, they look beautiful look together. Yeah. Yeah. She looks gorgeous. Right. And mm -hmm. her tan was right on the yeah. Yeah. Yes. Great coloring. Oh God, great great yeah. tan. Yeah. All right. So in addition to that, we had some ladies that just kind of were walking around also on the red carpet in their individual dresses. And we have picked a few ladies that we talk about fairly often up in here in Fashion 411. So Miss... Rita Ora in Long Van. She was wearing this gold short and it depresses me to look at the picture because actually on television when she walked up, I was like, oh my God, Rita Ora put her life together. And then I look at the pictures and it doesn't look so great. <laughs> yeah. She looks sad in the picture. Yeah. It just doesn't look like it flatters her figure it at all. It doesn't, not face on. But literally, I swear, when she was on the red carpet and walked up to the camera, I was like, oh my God, she looks so nice. And her hair and her makeup were working, but I don't know if it just didn't photograph right. That center, the waistline just don't even exist. Yeah. It's like, mm, it's not no. cute. No. Mm -hmm. Like that iridescent thing that we were talking about last yes, week. Yes, which is also <laughs> an interesting attempt. I think her hair, too, has something to play with that. The yeah. color of her hair mm -hmm. and then the color yeah. of her skin and the dress. She looks like Aww. sad Sam. That yeah. sucks. Sorry, Rita. Sorry, Rita. Nice we're thing. still failing, girl. Okay, <laughs> next up, we had Miss Alicia Keys, and she was in this beautiful royal blue plunging neckline gown by, I believe it was Giorgio Armani. I didn't like this at all. I didn't either. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, she's, I don't either. I mean, she, she's a curvy woman, and we've seen better moments from her. You know, just I just don't think it's flattering. Mm -hmm. Nothing just, special. Mm -hmm. I do Nothing not special. understand how she put that dress on and thought it was all right. Oh, I God. just don't. Well, with her figure, it's it could have worked on somebody else, but with her figure, it just isn't. It's like, like she's got a beautiful figure. It's just this one isn't. This dress isn't for her. Like we right. talked about the jeans. Right. Like it's just not for her. It's got you. Got to get what good is good for you. And you want to make yeah. your butt look good, mm -hmm. not like a camel yeah. hump. That's and then the neckline, it's <laughs> yeah. just too much. It is. I'm not even opposed to the neckline because I feel like her bust line fits it. Like it's not, it doesn't look. I don't gross like on the bottom how it's square. Though. Though. Like, yeah. At least yeah. it's not coming mm -hmm. out. Like there's no like bulge. And, well, yeah. But I you're mean, emphasizing if she was, the yeah. fact that there's nothing It just there. makes her look flat. Yeah, really it just flat. flattens her out. Like I don't, it looks, makes her look like a little boy on top. Yeah, it does. Well, speaking of little boys, all the little <laughs> boys are all around the world were doing things probably when they saw Beyonce <laughs> oh at the oh, Grammys. Uh, Her performance was out of control, and she also rocked this Michael Costello lace overlaid white gown with her short 
Ratchet Bob. Sorry, I hate the Bob. But I hate the Bob. <laughs> what, yeah. what do you guys think about Beyonce's whole just re like, especially at the Grammys, a very provocative kind of look that she's doing now? I think she's selling records. She's reinventing yeah. herself. She's doing what Madonna every moment. other yeah, you know, Madonna has done it. You know, several different artists. She's she's reinventing herself, and I would I don't argue see a that she's not it. being any more provocative than she has she been in has the past. Been. Yeah, she's yeah. Um, herself. I lyrically, would say for sure. I would say it's a little more provocative. Mm -hmm. But in terms of her appearance and dancing and what she's doing, I mean, she's been humping floors and tossing hairs in leotards right. from jump. Right. So I think that whole commentary around oh yeah, what's happening to Beyonce flex. is crap like, yeah right. I, just, I do crap. too definitely you know but I was amazed just we've talked but in the past Michael Costello has been getting his dress on the red carpets quite a bit now mm -hmm. and in addition to Beyonce's beautiful lacy white dress he also did uh Miss Tamar Braxton's red dress they're both beautiful and completely um, different I, too and did you guys see on the red carpet the back of Beyonce's dress it's yes. completely yes. cut out oh my god it's completely gorgeous. cut out I love Beyonce's dress so oh. My that looks that great. Dress, that red dress is so pretty. Yeah, yeah it's sexy. Stunning. It's fitting in all the right places. Yeah, it, it, I'm thinking that Alicia Keys probably should have hollered at Michael Costello. Yeah. <laughs> A her body. Bit. Whoever, Tamar looks I don't know so who that tiny. Is, yeah. Her body looks incredible. Her body looks incredible. Yeah. And standing next to Beyonce, it's funny yeah. because Michael Costello had been in the news talking about how small Beyonce has gotten. She's like a sample size and like yeah. a size two at this point. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, right? So I wonder, maybe Tamar is on that same train because in those she's pictures, tiny. they're looking real similar. Yeah, yeah so. she looks really small. Congratulations all the mamas out there. Y'all can still yeah. look hot and work it out. So last. If you've got an entire staff like Beyonce got, does. Yeah. <laughs> an entire it's not staff. the real world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's just on a vegan diet and dancing every night. Go yeah. dancing every night and eat vegetables, and it'll work for you, too. Right. <laughs> All right, last up for the Grammys, we had the special moments of the Grammys. First up, we had Miss Madonna, and she came to the Grammys with her adorable son, David. Of course And they she did. were, well, right. we, could, we could say many things about her bringing her adorable brown son, David, on the red carpet after her Instagram drama last week, but they the were- The only reason why she brought him. Mm. I think I think it's a total, like, just publicity yeah. moment, you know, trying to- I really want to believe that that is right? not, <laughs> no one would do that to their kids. Like, I really would like to believe that- We're talking about would. Madonna, the uh -uh. most calculating type of person when it comes to her her career and her image. Yeah. Uh, Everything she, she does yeah. is not on accident. This is the first time I, from my knowledge, I've ever seen him on a red yeah. carpet. Yeah. Why, why would she bring him? Yeah. It is, and it's interesting that you say that. It is the first time that he's been on any, and a lot of people are commenting that nobody's ever even really heard him speak. Yeah. But the fact that it, she is so calculating and she did the Instagram nonsense before, like, I would think calculating wise, this would be exactly what we're saying. Like, Everybody would think that's disgusting. Why would you do that as an uh, okay. answer to what you just did last week? But exactly. anyway, uh -huh. she mm -hmm. wore her Ralph Lauren tuxedo. Her son wore Ralph Lauren, and they had hats and canes and grills. Or well, the son <sighs> wanted a grill, and Madonna was very, very, very pale makeup. Very. Uh -huh. She's what pushing sixty now. Yeah, she's like and, fifty-five, I believe. And she actually just performed with Miley Cyrus on yes, Unplugged. Yes, saw that too, kids. I just think Grandma put the, should sit put down. Put the grills away. You <laughs> know what I mean? Away. Like, right. I know she's she's an icon. She's a music. She's a fashion icon. And I'm not saying that age means that she has to go and you know hide in a hole anymore. Hide in a hole and cut her hair, you know, to look mm -hmm. like Blanche. But I just feel like certain things, like just when I saw her open up her mouth and the grill. Yeah. And I'm it like, wasn't even really? a good grill. It looked like dirty teeth. And it's just, just what do you, yeah. I don't know what you're. It just seems like she's trying too hard. Yeah. Too hard. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to try at all. No, like, she's like, don't like, You are who you, yeah. 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 yeah, just come in your suit and your red lipstick and we'd be like, Madonna's there. Right. But anyway, Madonna showed up with her son and it yeah. was a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Another moment we had, of course, was the hat heard around the world. <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Pharrell Williams rolled up in this Vivian Westwood um, hat <laughs> that looked like the Arby's hat, but was a remake of a vintage hat that Vivian Westwood had made for uh, a hip hop video in 82 called Buffalo Girls. Oh, I do remember that video. So, it looks like Rocky and Bullwinkle. Remember that? Yes, cartoon? it looks like Rocky and yeah. Bullwinkle. The jokes were a flaw on yeah. Twitter about the hat, but he was paying homage to. His the hat wasn't really my problem, though. His outfit. You, you didn't I like the leather Adidas so jacket that was yeah. 
The oh, that was leather? leather? Yeah. Oh, and it, it was just leather. was like cropped almost. It was, it was very, like very short. It was very small. It just, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was very It small. wasn't for me, that's for sure. He just got dressed. He was like, I don't care. I'm yeah, he's like, wait, am I going to, care. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Monica? Monica? Tonight? yeah. Oh, it's a grand, oh, oh let yeah. me grab my leather. Yeah. Yeah. He was making an all-encompassing <laughs> hip-hop statement. Like, I got the old school hat, I'm wearing my Adidas, and that's. But I'm changing it up because it's cropped right. and it's leather. So, but he got a lot of awards mm -hmm. that night. So, what are you gonna do? And he's <laughs> super talented, talented and fabulous. Yeah, he's so, so talented. he'll continue to be fabulous. Hats and we're, off to him. Hats off to him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, and FYI, I just thought I'd mention. I was watching TMZ the other day, and they caught um, Daft Punk. You know, the two guys yes. where you never they never reveal never their faces. faces. Mm -hmm. Well, they're French guys, and to see them, you know, without the helmets, mm -hmm. they're just two normal looking two girls. Normal -looking you never dudes. even know. But it was kind of funny. Yeah, and they <laughs> crashed over. <laughs> about that whole thing that are we sure that's who Daft Punk is <laughs> because we don't actually know. I know we don't know if they look like. them. Uh -huh. So yeah. yeah. But that, they're all making statements. They're all musicians. They're doing their thing. So last but not least, we have Style Watch this week. And on the Style Watch radar, I have selected Miss Zendaya, who was a Disney star. Um, she was on the show on Disney called Shake It Up. She's 17 years old. She's 5 foot 10. She's freaking gorgeous. She was on Dancing with the Stars. She's now on the Grammy red carpet. She released a song last year. Shake It Up has now ended. So she's sort of in this transition where she's going to be trying to move into television and film as an adult. And whether you love the dress or not, she's rocking this Emmanuel Longaro dress, Christian Louboutin shoes. And she's trying to go high fashion. She's been spotted around doing things, looking real grown with her top buns and her yeah. high-end uh, dressing going on. So she's a beautiful girl. I'll be interested to see what she pulls out as the year continues and what she's doing. And Maybe she wants a 15 to $20 million contract from Dior. You know, she wants it from somebody. <laughs> yeah. She looks a she, lot like Cassie. They could be sisters. She's serving, oh, yeah, yeah she's very, oh, very yeah, Cassie. Yeah. That is very true. So, so similar. I, yeah. like, I do like her makeup and hair. I yeah. like the look. Gorgeous. The face was everything. I'm not a fan dress, of the yeah. dress. But I think I, it's youthful. I think I did, it's I really, think it's yeah, I think it's her. I think it's cool. It's a little punk, honestly. Mm -hmm. Am the I the only look. one? I don't like her hair because it's thinning and you can really see it. I think it's not thinning. I think or, she or has a that? crazy I think she has hairline. A hair color, yeah. Oh, it's her hairline? And it's the, hair, it's the hairline mm -hmm. that comes really far forward. And it's oh, okay. also it highlighted it right just, there. It, it, fill it in. Okay, because it, it looks like it's thinning. It's a little highlighted. Because I think if it was thicker, you'd be like, ooh, what is wrong with a girl? Why does she have a girl? Yeah, maybe. But okay. either way, she's doing some things. It'll be interesting to see what she comes up with for yeah, the rest right. of the year and as we see her on some red carpets. So Keep our eye out for Keep her. Keep our eye out for Zendaya. Well, that's been another Fashion Friday, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We want to thank our special guest, Alina Argeros thank from RG73 Jeans. Tell everybody where they can find you and buy jeans. Um, you can find us online at www.rg73jeans.com. Yay. Are you guys on Twitter, Instagram? We're on Twitter, yeah, RG73Jeans, throughout Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Right. Follow us, like us, tweet us. Follow us, All like right. us, Where can we us. find you? Yeah. I'm your host, Erica Garcia Rojas. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at IMEGR, and check out rallybabe.com. And we did just launch our collegiate collection. So for those of you college students out there, we've got a lot of licensed, uh, cute stuff online. So. All right, you can follow me, Courtney Stewart, on Twitter and Instagram at Stewart Starlet. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at It's Me, Deanna V. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Don't forget to download the show for free. Check us out on Instagram and on BlackHollywoodLive.com. We'll see you next week with more fashion. Bye. Bye. From producers Maria Manuno, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Speaker, Daryl Kristen, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network. If you have questions or comments, tweet us at BHL Online or email us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. For more exclusive content, visit blackhollywoodlive.com. This has been a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network. <laughs> Hollywood Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals. Thanks for watching Black Hollywood Live on YouTube. For more in-depth interviews and news, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion in the comment section below here. See you soon, everyone. Bye.